Question number seven, Barbara Carragher. Mr Speaker, my question is to the Minister for Food Safety. Does she have confidence in the integrity of New Zealand's food safety system in light of the criminal threat to contaminate infant and other formula with 1080? Honourable Joe Goodhue. Mr Speaker, I have the utmost confidence in the integrity of our food safety system. There are both food safety and food protection aspects to this threat. I can reassure the New Zealand public that we're doing everything in our power to protect the entire supply chain to ensure the safety of all infant and other formulas. This criminal threat is designed to cause fear in order to generate a political outcome. It's using food as a vehicle, but it should not undermine confidence in our world-class food safety system or in any manufacturer. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Barbara Kuriger. What food protection measures have been put in place by the government as a result of the 1080 threat? Honourable Joe Good. Speaker. The ability for anybody to deliberately contaminate infant and other formula during manufacturing is very low. New Zealand manufacturers maintain high levels of security as a normal routine. Security and vigilance have been now significantly increased since this threat was received. The increased vigilance has been a team effort with producers, manufacturers, transporters and retailers all stepping up physical security measures and surveillance to protect these products. We've also developed an accredited 1080 testing program for New Zealand milk and milk products and have tested 45,000 samples from all New Zealand formula producers dating back to September last year. The testing will be ongoing. And the new testing is on top of our normal testing, auditing and verification system. These measures give us the utmost confidence there is no 1080 in infant or other formula. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Barbara Kerriger. To the Minister, what reassurance can she give New Zealand mums and dads about safety of New Zealand infant formula and other formulas? Honourable Joe Goodhue. Mr Speaker. As both Food Safety Minister and a parent, I can understand why New Zealand mums and dads will be concerned by this threat. I want to reassure New Zealanders again that every step possible has and is being taken to ensure the ongoing safety of our infant and other formula products. New Zealanders can be proud that our food safety model is among the best in the world, and I am confident that the increased security and procedures put in place throughout the supply chain means our products are safer than they've ever been. Supplementary. Supplementary question, Barbara Kerrigan. To the Minister, what advice does she have for consumers who have any questions about infant or other formula that they are using? Honourable Joe Goodhue. The first advice that I wish to give is to parents, and I advise them to continue using any infant formula or other formula products as they have been. Our advice to consumers has always been to check, sign, check for signs of tampering, and we're reinforcing this advice as a result of this blackmail threat. So do not use the product if any of the seals are broken, if there are holes in the foil or plastic lid or the bottom of the can. In order to be sure about this advice and to reinforce it, I urge people to look at the website www.foodprotection.govt.nz. But for any parents or consumers that have questions that have not been able to be answered thus far, I urge them to call Plunkett Line or Health Line. Question number eight, Jacinda Ardern. Thank you, Mr Speaker. 